Tracking macros really isn't as hard as a lot of you make it seem to be, so here are seven tips. Let's jump right into it. Okay, tip number one, you guys are gonna wanna plan your day ahead. I can't stress how important this is. The night before, try to plan what you're gonna eat. This is gonna help you guys learn the basics of macro tracking and kind of understand what will actually fit your macros. One of the worst things in the world is just kind of going about your day, not realizing what you're gonna be able to eat and not really understanding the actual basics. So I can't stress enough how important it is to plan it in advance. All right guys, so if you're gonna be planning ahead, you also need to adjust throughout the day, right? You need to log as the day goes on. As the day goes on, things will change. You know, maybe something you thought you were gonna eat, you didn't end up eating, you go somewhere else. So you always wanna be adjusting that. At the end of the day, you don't wanna just kind of slap everything in to realize that you're 100 grams over carbs, 50 grams over fat, and you just messed up like crazy. You always wanna be aware and ahead. And the best way to do that is to log. I really recommend even logging before you eat. This is a tip that will really help you avoid that because the issue is once it's in it ain't coming out so you want to make sure you're aware what you're about to put in to make sure you're hitting your macros number three is all about timing although we're not huge advocates of meal timing and such a mistake in my opinion is to have a huge meal in the morning if you have 2,000 calories in the morning you're eating 3,000 calories you're therefore kind of leaving yourself 200 to 500 allocations or a bunch of really small allocations and when you kind of crush that food your stomach adapts to it gets ready it stays ultra hungry throughout the day i try to flip that a lot of people like having a bigger dinner so make sure you're leaving room because your willpower is going to wear out throughout the day guys as the day goes on you're going to be exposed to more and more different circumstance and food and if people offer or different kind of you got chips in the cupboard they're going to start to look really appetizing if you're already over your macros it's weird how that works so make sure you leave room to kind of adjust for this as the day goes on you don't want to be stuck at the end of the day with absolutely no calories and be starving and tip number four guys is have portion control you can eat a slice of cake but it doesn't mean you should be eating the entire cake Guys, you wanna keep this in mind. Flexible dieting isn't when you overindulge, you go over your calories by a thousand. It's about fitting fun foods into your actual lifestyle, enjoying it. You guys wanna make sure that you're not letting the foods control you and you're controlling the foods and enjoying your life. And macro hack number five, guys, just find its twin. Just because you're doing flexible dieting doesn't mean you have to be consuming the highest calorie foods. You can find things that are a lot lower in calories. For example, frozen yogurt has a lot less fat content than ice cream, and it still tastes fantastic. There are a lot of treats out there, such as beef jerky, rice cakes that you can consume on a daily basis that are a lot lower in calories than stuff like chips. We have a couple videos. There are macro hack videos. You can click right here, or you can click down in the description below. That will kind of give you a lot of tips to help make different substitutions to make it a lot easier and consume less calories, especially if you're on a diet and you're consuming less calories on a daily basis. Numero 60 <laughs> Number 60 uh, try to find high volume, healthier foods. Uh, not always for the aspect of the fact that they're healthy, but at the end of the day, if you're eating 3,000 calories, that's your caloric allowance, and you're having that all pop parts and sugary cereals, you're not gonna be feeling very full. Whereas if you were to have 3,000 calories of vegetables, you would be stuffed to the brim. The reason for that largely is because of the volume of the food, so it's actually gonna be more voluminous per serving. Something like a little Pop-Tart can be about 300 calories. The 300 calories of salad without sauce is like serious, right? So you have to think of the volume of the food. And past that, you have to think of fiber. Fiber bonds with water, it's gonna help you fill out, it's gonna help you feel more full. So take full advantage of fibrous effects. And this is just a simple tip to get you through your day, especially for those of you that are dieting or looking to lose weight. All right guys, logging, this seems super intense, super scary, I get that. Even if you're not a serious logger, you have trouble sticking to it, logging seems obsessive, it seems uh, excessive, it just seems unhealthy, right? You're tracking everything, you're there, it's six hours a day logging all your foods. The reality is that's a myth, it's not six hours, I'd say it's been five minutes logging, the more you do it, the more you develop presets. It's like anything else, the more comfortable you get, the more you start to understand food. And it's such a good value, guys, because if you can get used to logging now, by the time you're 40, 50, 60, if you're not there already, that's fine too. But later in life, maybe where you're not necessarily as focused with physique goals, but you're more focused with life goals, you'll actually know what the makeup of food is and how it affects you and like serving sizes and portion control. So even if logging isn't a long-term goal, I recommend learning it. And if it is something for now, it's the best way to be the most accurate and to ensure you're actually getting results because it becomes very quantitative. You're looking at numerical data and it's something you can manipulate very easy and it really shouldn't take more than five to 10 minutes a day. I promise you, you can work that time down. If you're taking any longer, you're probably doing something wrong. So uh, let's just end it there, guys. Thanks so much for checking this out. Subscribe if you haven't already. We love you all. Peace.